What's going on my potential subscribers? If you're looking for a clan on PlayStation, Creative Intel is the clan for you. We have four spots that just opened up this week. So if you're interested in joining a clan, Creative Intel is for you. It's open to anybody, any SHD level. If you need help, you're welcome to ask questions in the clan. And if you're interested, go ahead and join now. Let's get into the video. All right, Gamer for Life, my boy, man, another content creator. Guys, if you don't know who Gamer for Life is, he's a content creator for the Division 2. Make sure you guys check him out. You can search up uh, Gamer for Life all together and there's no space um, and then put Division 2 and then you should pop up or he will comment in this video and then you guys can just follow him through there. All right. I have to show you guys his build. This is his build exactly from head to toe. And I'm going to show you guys my changes to the build. But man, I got to tell you, the build that he's given me is crazy it is strong as heck okay we're going to talk about the Ouroboros we're going to talk about the shield splinter two of the strongest weapons in the game and then we're going to finish it off with the orbit I see why he uses the orbit because that finisher talent is crazy all right but first I got to talk about the headpiece I'm not sure why we're going with Sokolov but we're going with Sokolov on the headpiece because it gives 10% SMG damage and it gives 15% critical hit damage. Now, I see why he would do this, um, but it's good. But I have to argue with this one, guys. I'm going to have to go with the Coyote's Mask on this. Why? Because it also gives you 15% weapon damage. And then we also have the same attributes. And the other one gave us 15% uh, critical hit damage on top of the 10% uh, SMG damage. But... What the Coyote's talent does is it gives you 25% critical hit damage. And this can be stacked too, guys. Don't forget, I think two people in the group, especially because I'm going to tell you guys, this is a countdown build, all right? We're only using this in countdown, so I will be showing you a full showcase of this gameplay uh, using this build. But first, I have to talk about how this will stack when somebody else is using uh, Coyote's Mask in um, countdown, right? So... All right, so we're going with 25% critical hit damage from 10 to 15 meters. 15 to 25 meters is 10% critical hit damage and 10% critical hit chance. And then 25 meters is 25% critical hit chance, right? So that's what I would change with this. And personally, everything else on here is golden. I don't think anything else needs to change. We're rocking the um, Sokolo. Oh, we're rocking the uh, Grupo backpack with the 15% critical hit damage um yeah i want to change this especially because i would put um the matador on here um but i think this is fine critical hit damage is what we're going for in this build that's what it looks like okay so i can see why he's doing this then we're going to go with the sokolo chest piece okay this is what's giving us the 10 percent and the 15 percent because we have two out of the three pieces all right then we're going to go with the 15 percent uh, weapon damage and as you can see this is all red and then we're going to pair it with the talent obliterate critical hits increase total weapon damage by one percent for 10 seconds backs up to 25 times also we had to talk about the talent on the chest on the backpack vigilance increases total weapon damage by 25 percent taking damage disables this buff but hopefully we don't take damage because i see why we wouldn't be taking that much damage because we have shield okay with the striker shield on top of this, we don't have any blue or yellow cores except for here on the Picaro's holster. So we have one blue core, but <clears throat> with that, the shields uh, skill tier increases with both blue and yellow cores, right? So we're gonna go ahead and talk about one tier because we have one blue core, all right? This gives us active regeneration, shield health, holster regeneration, and buff strength. But not only that, guys, we get damage bonus of 11% using the shield on top of the damage that we're already doing. Okay, so that's extra damage that we're doing. Now, he's using a Reviver Hive. I can see why he would be using a Reviver Hive. We're basically an all red build, so we can easily go down, but we do a lot of damage. So this is our safety measure, um, especially in Countdown. We can possibly go down from the Hunters. So this will be our safety measure to get back up. I see why he does this. All right, so everything else on here looks good we got the firewall specialization for the shield um as well so that's why i said this is a great build the only thing i would change like i said is the uh mask but other than that everything is but i have to talk about the gloves that we have the contractor's gloves this gives us a multiplicative damage of eight percent to damage to armor okay that's why we have these on it doesn't the lmg damage is irrelevant but we're using it for the eight percent damage to armor okay that's why we have it all right then we're going to talk about the fox's sprayer. this is another multiplicative damage gear piece okay eight percent of damage to target out of cover so not 
only do we have damage to armor, but we also have damage to target out of cover, as well as damage to target out of cover on our AR. And then we have damage to target out of cover on our Ouroboros, okay? So damage to target out of cover is the way to go. Uh, for the pistol, like I said, we have damage to target out of cover. So damage to target out of cover on all the weapons. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the stats too. All right, so for the stats, we're going with 59% and 193% critical hit damage. Imagine having a less critical hit damage, but adding the stacks of the uh, Coyote's mask on this. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't even know about that. You guys are gonna have to test this out yourself and let me know in the comments, but that I know it's gonna be crazy. But yes, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I see it. You guys see it. The critical hit chance on the AR is terrible, uh, but we have 183 critical hit damage. Honestly, this is not going to matter. 183 critical hit damage will not matter if you can barely hit critical hit damages. We need to get our critical hit chance up. Personally, I would, like I said, go uh, higher with the critical hit chance, but we're already sitting at 59% on the Ouroboros. But what does this mean? What is this telling us? This is telling us that our main and only weapon that we're going to use with this build is the Ouroboros. Um, currently, right now, I'm about to go up against this Hunter, but I had almost died in like three bullets uh, using this build. Um, so I have to talk to you guys as if I'm talking to new players. Now, this is might be okay for experienced players um, that know how to like defend themselves in important situations or get out of tough situations. But for new players, this might be a little bit of a tough build. I do have my own variation that will help new players try this build out and experienced players try this build out. And I will tell you the sweet spot at the very end of the video that everybody can use because I think this uh, my variation of this build is um, a lot stronger and a lot more survivability, but I do like this build too. Don't get me wrong. People who like all red, you definitely need to use this build. Now, is the striker set still better in DPS? Yes, but if we're talking about you guys liking a uh, high critical hit damage, then yes, this build is for you. Um, currently, right now, I also am doing a lot of damage against just the regular uh, uh AIs, uh, not the hunters, just the regular ones. Uh, they're doing pretty much one shot from red to purple to yellow as well. Um, now it depends on how much bars. Uh, it might be like the boss uh, that might take a look like two clips, not just one clip, so two clips probably. Um, then this situation right here, I almost died again due to the fact that I was blind. Okay, if I got, if you get blind, you are pretty much going to either die um, if a lot of the uh, AIs are shooting you and nobody else is in the room, or you can just get lucky like I got and just got out of the situation before the AIs even targeted me. Um, so this is also beneficial. Now, the disadvantages of this build, like I said before, is that you're not getting the uh, Coyotes mask on, so you don't get the additional buffs. Uh, but other than that, like I said, it's okay. It just needs a lot more armor because especially if you're a new player trying to try this out, especially in countdown, you definitely need a lot of armor because you're dealing with a lot of enemies. Now for veterans who've been playing this for a long time and know how to handle all red builds, this might be a good build for you. Um, so definitely, like I said, try it out. Now, as you guys can see, I'm getting a lot of kills extremely fast. I'm one clipping, but I highly recommend using the shield most of the time, because if you don't use the shield, you're pretty much going to get two shot it, three shot it, maybe depending on what type of enemy is shooting you. Um, so it is very important to keep the shield up. And plus you're getting that extra damage that you uh, want to look for, especially with the shield. Now, my variation is going to have three blue cores with it. So we're going to have a lot more damage than this build and uh, gamer for life. I am telling you this as well. Uh, try out that variation that I'm about to show at the very end and see if you like it over this build that you have here. It's still the same build. Pretty much. I just changed um, a few of the red cores and obviously put on the uh, coyotes mask. So definitely take a look at that. I also will show you guys gameplay proof and the stats of the build change. Um, towards the end of the video. 
But as you guys can see is, yeah, I'm pretty much Kate walking with this build too. So I, like I said, from the start, this build is really good. I'm not going to knock it at all, but just for new players, it might not be good for them because obviously they need a lot of armor. Um, so yeah, that's why I say uh, more armor, the better. Uh, but like I said, I'm one shot in these guys, man. It's not even tough. Also right here, I am going to show you guys that I am also about to die again. After I kill these enemies right here, I'm going to show you guys that I'm about to die again. But luckily for me, uh, I have very fast reaction speed, probably not as fast as I did 10 years ago, but I have pretty quick uh, reaction speed so I can get out of tough situations. That's why I'm saying not a lot of people can. So as you can see here, I'm using my kits a lot more than usual. Um, and we're not really using, uh, utilizing our AR because it has 38% critical hit chance. But like I said, it was meant to be only used with the Ouroboros anyway. And I'm not even mad at that because the Ouroboros is my favorite weapon in the game as of right now. So here's a boss fight right, right here. As you guys can see, I, it did take me more than one clip to take that boss down. Um, so like I said, it's gonna take a few clips with the bosses, but everybody else is pretty much one shot. As you guys can see right here, also I am using the AR and it didn't do bad. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely got lucky with the uh, critical hit damage. But also, yes, as I was going to say, look here in this uh, gameplay right here. As we are breaking down the hunter's fight, look how many times I got close to dying. Look how uh, my team is struggling because I don't have the right equipment on to help the team. Now, I personally say Gamer for Life, I love this build, but after um, reviewing it and being realistic, it kind of is a selfish build to only be used for countdown due to the fact that it's just not helping out your other teammates. Basically, this build is just focusing on you, especially with the Reviver Hive. I guess you can throw the Reviver Hive out if like somebody's a down, but as you can see right here, I think I need the Reviver Hive more than they, my teammates do, right? So that might be the only thing that helps out the team, but you know, hey, it's not a bad build, like I said, but for a countdown, for a team play, I highly recommend uh, my variation. So like I said, guys, try it out. Um, yeah, watch, you see, I see it, I already died one time. I'm gonna think I'm about to die again because I had my back turned and then a hunter shot me in the back when I didn't even know that the hunter was there. Apparently he got an angle through the little crane and he basically two shot, shot at me right there and I almost died again. Luckily I rolled out of there and I healed up. So as you guys can see, I have no more kits. I had to use all four or out of three of my kits in this situation. And that's why I said, I don't think it's good for new players to try this build out. Um, and obviously we had to protect our teammate here. So it does do a lot of damage in certain situations to protect the team, but does it have the utility to get through a, a team through safely every single time? No, I don't recommend this build if you are trying to farm countdown because like I said, unless you're a veteran, because you might not get through the extraction as easily as my variation of the build, okay? So luckily, like I said, we have the shield to help us with that extra protection and we have the Reviver, Hill, Reviver Hive just in case we go down. But I have to be on my toes with this build. Okay, it's not a relaxing build. It's not comfortable. It's not a build you, you would use when you get off of work or after, after like a 10 hour shift and then you're just trying to relax and do like a little bit of farming. This build is definitely like a sweaty build, I would say. Um, you Like I said, you always gotta be on your toes with this build. But other than that, it does a lot of damage. I will not knock it. I'm gonna say that again. I will not knock this build. It does a lot of damage. Let's break down mine.
So as you guys can see what changes I've made to the build and now here's the gameplay on it. As you can see, I will be doing more damage. Also, I have a lot more armor as you can see. Yes, I do have the bonus of the additional armor Vanguard, so it's okay, but I still have a lot of damage and a lot of armor. As why I wanted, I wanted to show you guys something here and I wanted to make this clear. Okay, so high critical damage does not mean you have more damage depending on how you make the build and how you read the talents and also how you utilize um, each piece. Now, for example, Obl obliterate only works if you can hit critical hits, right? So the more critical hit chance you have, the greater the chance you'll have more critical hits, well, therefore means the more weapon damage you'll have. Not only that, we have a tier three shield, which means we have 1.5% additional damage on our shield as a buff, right? So not only that, when we pop out our shield, we're doing more damage, but not only that, we are adding on the stacks of the uh, coyotes mask at depending on the range that you're sitting at with 25% or 15% uh, and 15% of critical hit chance and critical hit damage or is it 10% and 10% I can't remember uh, just scroll back in the beginning of the video you guys remember uh, but is that and if somebody else in the team which more than likely somebody else in countdown is running coyotes mask um, you get that additional stack on top of that stack. So yeah, we're doing way more damage overall. And I just wanted to show you guys that variation. So this is once again, my variation of the build. Um, as you guys can see, we are adding more damage because we're utilizing everything correctly as far as uh, additional tiers on the shield, uh, additional uh, critical hit chance for the critical hits for obliterate and so on and so on. Also, this is his build. And like I said, both builds work just as great. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never switch on the homies in the day once. They didn't want to open doors, so we made some. Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young. That direct deposit hidden.